All right, guys, you guys are going to love this one. All right, so here we go. How to index and rank your post in Google in under 60 seconds. So real quick, can everyone see this? Can everyone hear me okay? If you want to just type into the, the, the chat box. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Hey, Tim, my name is Brian Kane. I actually work with Chris Record out of his office in Rockland, California. Awesome, awesome. Trust me, guys. Trust me. So in, the, in this training, what, you guys are going to love this because uh, not only are you going to understand how to index and rank your post in, in Google in under 60 seconds, but I'm actually, if you stay to the end of this webinar, I'm going to show you how to do it live. And if you guys have like a bigger website, I'm going to show you how uh, to, to do it even faster. So, hey, Mary, nice to see you as well. Howdy, howdy. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's address the number one issue. Most bloggers don't ever get indexed in Google. So if you aren't indexed, you will not rank. And if you don't rank, then there's no free traffic. So if you publish a post, you publish content, and you are maybe writing blogs, or even if you're publishing on Smart Member, then don't expect any free traffic. People aren't just going to magically find your site if they go to uh, the search engines and, uh, and, and they, they, you won't, like if you're not indexed, you won't rank, right? So what's the big question? The big question is what is indexing and why is it important? Well, this photo here represents a photo of, of one of my good friends and business partners from a past company. His name is Roger Silvera. Well, Roger, he was grinding his wheels on a daily basis, publishing blogs and, and publishing content. So I got curious one day and I went to Google and I, I tried finding his site and I noticed that he only had 16 pages indexed. Well, Google indexes the way that it works is there's 10 pages or 10 URLs per page. So at most he had 160 URLs put into Google that people could find, uh, that they could type in their keyword and the 160 URLs that he, they could actually land on his site. Well, do you wanna know what the problem is? Well, there's two things. Number one is the first couple of pages are categories and tags. So categories and tags aren't your actual post. So he probably only had about 140 to 150 posts that he was ranking for and indexed for in Google. And so that's why I almost cried. But do you wanna know how many posts that Roger had actually wrote? And this is the shocking part, and this is the breakthrough that I want you to have at the very beginning of this webinar before even, we even get to the end or even throughout the middle. How many posts did he write? He had over 500 posts. Can you imagine just, I mean, just spinning your wheels that, that people are telling you to blog daily or publish content, maybe get traffic for free on the internet. He, he put over 500 posts on the internet. Guys, listen, over 500 posts and only 16 pages, 160 uh, URLs were indexed. And, and that doesn't even count for categories and tags. Can you see why Roger was not getting any traffic at all? but I didn't cry because I knew how to fix it. Here's some other ones that I saw. So uh, Tracy Walker, who is also one of my good friends and business partners in a, in a former company that I was with, I, I checked out her site. She had only 19 pages indexed, so about 190 URLs. And so, I mean, accounting for categories and tags, that's probably about 170 posts just on average, right? So 100, let's give her 180 just because we're being generous. Do you wanna know how many posts that she wrote? over 700, over 700. And then, and then she's probably wondering why that she's not getting any traffic at all, right? So what about Nicole Cooper, another one of my business friends, or business partners and friends? She had seven pages index, so that's about 70 URLs, not even all posts. Do you wanna know how many she wrote? Over 299, probably more by this point. Then I saw one of my good friends, uh, Shalonda Gordon. Do you want to know how many she wrote? So she had four pages indexed, and this was she was using like a little company platform that she was using at the time. Over 473. And some some people who might know Shalanda, like she had like her actual domain map, so she wasn't usually using the, the company uh, domain there. Well, let's give that to her. So let's actually add them up. So this is her her map domain. So if we say nine plus four is 13, so that is 130 URLs at most. And she wrote 473. So again, I was gonna cry, but I knew how to fix it. So before we get into the content, as you pay attention, let me share with you why you should choose to listen. So 
in my in a former company that I was with, Chris Record, he actually created this platform. And so the day that he released it on Thanksgiving, I was one of the people that stayed up for 24 hours and I put over 300 posts on the platform. And I was taking screenshots as I was doing this because not only was I putting posts on the platform, but I was actually getting them indexed and ranked. So actually here's a screenshot where if you can see that, if you, if you look at the very bottom where it says 50 seconds ago, well in 50 seconds, so I, from the moment that I hit publish, I was able to run over to Google and I was able to see that my post was indexed within 50 seconds. So it's, it's very, very fast. Some people have to wait like a couple hours. Some people have to wait days. Some people have to wait weeks. Some people have to wait months, but I was able to do it in seconds. So um, getting indexed is easier than you think. And there's just a plug for uh, a, a product. I'm also a product creator as well. So here's what you will learn if you stay to the end of this webinar how to get indexed and ranked on Google in less than 60 seconds, how to become an official webmaster, how to increase authority to a pre-existing domain that you own. And as a bonus, I'll show you how to index a large website using an XML sitemap to save time. Proof that it works, uh, Christopher Corinthian just did exactly what he said in the post, and there it is. He got first page on many posts in seconds. Uh, Shane Butts, I just got indexed thanks to you and already on the front page of Google. Aaron Bahunin, boom baby, huge value. After doing this, my pages were all over Google, thanks. Darcy Scar, Brian Kane, thank you for this awesome info. I just mapped my domain and indexed it in less than 15 minutes, and it's already ranking on the second page of Google. I am continually blown away at how incredible this platform is and the community that is creating it. I love you all and Cheryl Washington, I love this. I tried this with a post I wrote and indeed it showed up on the first page. Thank you, Brian. So that got me thinking, no one knew about this. So to me, when this whole process that I'm just about to show you, it, it, be, it came sort of natural to me. It came natural because the psychology to me was if I'm writing a, a, a post and trying to get it published so that way people can find it on search engines, it would make sense that it was actually indexed in the search engine so that way people could find it. So it, it actually shocked me that a lot of people didn't know about this. Uh, real quick questions on the side. Uh, does it depend on our niche, industry, et cetera? No, so this actually works with everything. So any URL, uh, anytime you publish content, any form of blogging, any form of, of creating a, a page on a, like a website, it works with absolutely everything. And so I think it'll make more sense as we move on to the, the next steps as well, I'm hearing, uh, or I see, I see one person that says, I can't hear, am I the only one? I believe, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you could also type in a chat if you can't hear as well, but other people can hear, and so it's probably just your audio, you can exit the webinar, and also, yeah, so we can hear you, awesome. So for note and action takers, so if you're, if you're watching the video or watching the replay right now, this is a good place to start taking notes, or if you're watching live right now, maybe if you have a pen and piece of paper handy, you could also come back and watch the replay or just have notes as well. So step number one is you wanna map your blog with your own domain. Does this involve domain mapping as well? Yes, so we're, we're going to talk about the reason why as well. So step one is you're going to wanna to map your own domain, and we'll talk about the reason why in just a second, so just trust me on this step. This works best with an authority platform like WordPress.com, Blogger, Smart Member, etc. And if you already have a website, consider using like uh, the subdomain of your domain. So, for example, like if I have like canebryan.com, and let's say I have a whole website built on canebryan.com, and I want to keep my authority for the site, well, I might want a subdomain for that. And so, if I have an extra blog that I'm trying to map, well, I might map it to my subdomain blog.canebryan.com. And the reason why you want to use it like with an authority platform is usually because uh, there's other people, there's a community that is also using the site. And so if you, if you want to uh, index your, your site fast, or you want to index your site in a, very fast, then what happens is usually you don't own it. And so the thing that you're going to own in this process is your domain, which is why you want to map it. Just looking through some of the questions real quick. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, can you spend some time on, on mapping? Uh, not, not today, not in this webinar, because there's actually a help.smartmember. If you go to help.smartmember, if you're using smartmember, 
you can actually go there and you'll be able to see domain mapping or you can go to YouTube and there's lots of free videos on YouTube. So when in doubt, you can YouTube it out.